Does Google hate Kartra? In this video, I want to tell you the truth about Kartra and SEO and what you should do if you want to rely on that juicy Google traffic to feed your funnel. Let's dive in. Hey guys, John here again with another Kartra video. And the question comes up all the time with my clients and with people just that I interact with on a daily basis, where we all know that Google loves WordPress. You just Google that phrase and you'll get tons of content about why Google favors WordPress because it's a content platform first and foremost. It's a content management system, right? But from firsthand experience, I can tell you that building funnels and setting up the entire digital marketing space on a WordPress platform can be tricky. And the allure of an all-in-one platform like Kartra that can save you time, save you money, and all that good stuff is very attractive. But there's always that shadow of doubt in the back of your mind. But what about Google? If I do Kartra, it's all-in-one. I can't also get Google traffic. I'm going to go ahead and dispel that right now because are Kartra users doomed to never get found on Google? No, silly. So I've got seven easy ways queued up right now for you in this video on how to SEO optimize your Kartra built business. And let's go ahead and dive in. But before we do that, I do have a free gift for you. If you go to loveyourfunnels.com, you can download my free funnel launch checklist. This is the step-by-step -step guide I go through every time I launch a new funnel for myself, my wife, or my dozens of clients. And it's totally free, totally fun. Go ahead and grab your copy right now. Let's waste no more time and get into it with number one. Now, by the way, these are not necessarily going to be in order of importance. These, these are just seven things you can do and should do if SEO is an important aspect of your business. And by the way, not everybody needs search engine optimization to grow their business successfully. We rely heavily on paid traffic as well, but we got started in the SEO game and we still use it to this day. All right. That being said, let's go ahead and walk through some of the features in Kartra that can help you with your search engine optimization. Number one is on every image on your page. If you want that page to get found by Google, you need to help Google see what that page is all about. There's many ways to do this. Number one is adding your SEO optimized alt tags to your images. So in this example here, I've got this little guy. This is all just like a, a dummy a website pulled up in Kartra. But on that image, if you simply click on the pencil, you'll be able to go to the image and add an alt tag. That helps computers like Google read what that image is about. They can't exactly parse what that dude is doing over there with his hands crossed so cool so you have to tell it and if you put the keyword in there you want people to be able to discover you through that can help you be get discovered number two and this is a critical one that wasn't there for a long time and has come in recently is in your headlines if you want to write your home page in Kartra and you want that to be discovered it's also helpful for you to nudge Google in the right direction to know what that page is about and you can do that with header tags these are uh, you know largely in blogging you want to make sure that all your uh, outline of your blog post is set up correctly with heading ones, heading two, heading three, et cetera, et cetera. You're just outlining the content for the Google crawling spiders. And you can do that now. So you can click into um, any text bit and declare it as an H2. You can still do all the styling you'd like, but that'll help indicate to Google what's important and what's not so people can find you in search. Number three is on the page at a high level, you can describe that page to Google by clicking over to the settings, going to the SEO parameters, clicking on that bad boy, and that'll pull up a bunch of different boxes. I kind of got crazy on my arrows there, didn't I? Uh, but you can you know, title the page, give it an image for search, give it the OG, which is open graph title and description. A lot of th things. You can even say what the keywords are you want to be ranked for. So it can nudge Google in the right direction. Uh, this is in no way a replacement for Yoast or Rank Math or some of those best in breed SEO plugins. We'll talk about that in number seven, I think. Uh, but it can certainly help you out when it comes to getting found. Number four, you can you know put your keyword as the SEO friendly permalink. So when you're done with the page, you're ready to publish it. Give it the URL that you want people to be searching for. Again, it's not entirely important but it certainly does help. It's better than not doing it when you want to be able to be found on Google. Number five, test your page speed with GT metrics. There's a lot of con concern right now about how important and vital page speeds are in Google's eyes. So if you go to gtmetrics.com or you can go to you know Google Page Insights as well, you can plug that URL in and run a test for free and you can see how it's being rated. This kind of gives you the idea, the technical proficiency behind the website, you know, how many, uh, all the techie geeky stuff that we don't need to talk about on this video. But largely, I want to see these three web vitals. These are called the core web vitals. So how long is the website? Uh, how long is the user waiting until something pops up on their screen? This is 1.7 seconds. It's in the yellow. It's not perfect. It's not bad. 
it's passable. And again, I have done no optimization. Things you could do on this is make sure you run every image through some sort of a compression software to make your images as small as possible and fit the size you're putting them on. Um, you know, try to use fewer images if possible using things like gradients or just colors to add design to your website without adding a tons of background images and things like that, which just kind of look bad in my opinion anyways. So things you can do to improve your page speed. Also, Word WordPress is kind of notorious for being slow when you add page builders on all this cool design stuff because there's so much database behind a WordPress website. Kartra is able to kind of separate that a little bit and it can actually improve your page load speeds on its own. Then also total blocking time and uh, CLS. These things we don't need to talk to, but in general, Kartra does a good job at ranking for those metrics. Now, number six is off-page SEO. And this is kind of a, I don't want to get too deep into SEO, but there's two types of SEO on page, which is what we've covered up until this point of making sure that your links are set up correctly and all this kind of cool stuff and page speed and all that. That's on page, things you can directly control there. Off page is stuff that happens outside of your control, but it you know shows authority. It shows people actually caring about your content. Google wants to give good stuff out into the world. So the more you can um, show authority, the better. And a great accelerated way to show authority is to get people to link over to your pages. Now, with Kartra, you do have the built-in affiliate program, which means you can sign people up who are essentially commission-based salespeople. So if you have a, this web page sitting out here in the ether, in the internet, nobody knows about it, that kind of shows Google, maybe I don't want to show people this because nobody's proving to me that they care about what this web page is all about or who this guy is. But if you create a affiliate program and then get hundreds of affiliates to start doing this come on there you go a bunch of affiliates to start sending traffic and yeah it's commission traffic like if they convert they're going to get paid for it which is a beautiful thing uh but now you've gone from having nobody know like or trust this website to having you know dozens or hundreds of links going to that page that is a pretty big way to grow your authority pretty quickly without having to do annoying outreach and try to get people to link back to you and all this stuff so super helpful there Number seven is simply don't try to blog on Kartra. And I'll repeat that. Do not try to blog on Kartra. It's a bad idea. Not because Kartra is a bad platform, but it's like tools are meant for a specific purpose, right? It's like if you want to cut down a tree, use a chainsaw. Don't use a dinner table knife, right? Like you could probably do it with a butter knife. You could eventually chop that tree down, but just don't do it. It's just not used for the right application. So here's what you could do instead. On Kartra, Build your best copywriting agency.com, the main domain. This is where your funnels are going to be, your homepage, your about page, your contact page, your sales pages, where your email addresses are going to be, you know, best, you know, John at best copywriting agency.com. That's what Kartra is for. It's great. You can still do some SEO from all the things we talked about earlier. Then when it comes to WordPress, that's where you want to create a subdomain called blog dot best copywriting agency dot com. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to learn how to do that. But this is just kind of conceptual. This is where your blog posts are going to go, where your archives of all your categories. Hey, this is what I talk about. This is what I'm all about. Um, this is where your search engine optimized top of funnel content like, hey, what is copywriting? What is a copywriting agency? What do you think about the six mistakes? That type of content. That's where you want to put that on WordPress. Don't put that in Kartra. Come on, man. And then, <laughs> sound like somebody else. Uh, if you have a podcast or videos or anything like that, put that in your WordPress website as a content management system. That's what it was designed for. That that's the the tree. That that's the chainsaw right there when it comes to getting found on search engines. But Kartra, you're not S O L. Like you still have a way to go uh, with everything we've talked about so far. So once you have these two separate websites like separate but similar websites set up what do you do if people find you on wordpress you want to send them into your funnel you don't want them just to hang around on wordpress forever you want to get them into your like finely tuned sales funnel process and here's what that would look like so let's say your home page is this guy and you just put a link up here in your menu using Kartra that says, hey, blog. And they click on that blog button. It takes them off to WordPress land, which might look like this, where, again, this is a very simple um, uh, WordPress website, but this would be blog.bestcopywritingagency or whatever the case might be. And then on that menu, there'd be a link that would say home or about or contact or work with me or free gift or something like that. And that would take them back to Kartra. But once they're here on this blog post, they could go to their different categories. They could see all the blog posts. It can, you can put all the plugins in there that help you be found on WordPress. All that good stuff is how you would do that. 
All right, so I think that was like drinking from a fire hose. So you did a great job. You're sticking around until this point. Put down in the comments, woohoo, I can get SEO on Kartra. Congratulations. Your general next steps is just don't overthink it. If you want simplicity, Kartra is going to be a more simple solution than WordPress when it comes to building out your online course, your membership, all that kind of stuff. But if you also like getting the, if you like the idea of content marketing, if you're a writer, if you like to do uh, podcasting and things of that nature, go ahead and get the best of both worlds. Get you a subdomain. You can use Bluehost, you can use Cloudways, you can use anything out there. You don't have to like make this crazy web page. Simply have the homepage of blog. Uh, copywritingagency.com be your blog role all your posts you can have your categories in the menu keep it super simple um i've got a ton of content on how to set up a wordpress website here on this youtube channel go ahead and browse it and subscribe and binge and also if you are like okay cool i get it this all makes sense he's speaking my language i'm ready to get kartra and use wordpress for that like content stuff that content marketing thing go ahead and grab your bonuses at incomemesh.com slash kartra bonus i have a really awesome bonus package for Kartra if you sign up using my affiliate link, which is in the description down below. And it's super duper cool. I appreciate it. So that's it. Drink from a fire hose. You did a great job. High five. You can get search engine optimized websites using Kartra, especially when you bring in WordPress on the side. I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if I've helped you out today. Subscribe, like, do all that fun YouTube juice stuff. It really helps me grow the channel and get the word out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.